Welcome to Lavina. We are in Lavina in the north of Bartley, so Thailand then. Going on a tour today, jumping off waterfalls and sliding down natural water slides. Dan's frantically sorting out the backpack. We're late, as always. When are we ever not late? Has there ever been a time when we've not been late? I don't know if our guy's here or not, but we are late, so he's probably been waiting for a while. Good morning. 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 Yes, I'm Lydia. Oh, you are here, okay. Towels. Yes, we've got towels, dress, we've got swimming things. Yeah, waterproof shoes. Um, yeah, everything. Complete. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Okay. Let's okay. Go. What's your name? Tony. Tony. Oh, that's yeah, easy to remember. Nice Off we go with Tony the driver. We just got to the place where the tour starts, I guess. Driver Tony took us here, um, and then the guide is going to take us in to do the tour. So Dan's just gone to the toilet, so I'm just waiting for him now, and then we're going to start the tour. Spider. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but that, oh, I don't think I can get closer. Look at the size of it. So we arrived after a half an hour trek through the, oh, hello. You can... Do you want to get on the bog? Hi. Sniffing my what? Sniffing your bum. I want to sniff down there if I have you. Um, it's like the Maya Bay vlog all over again. I had a cat licking itself. And now we've got a dog. Anyway, we made it to. <laughs> we... Sorry about that. We made it to the first stop, which is the waterfall slide, the natural waterfall slide. We can see people on it now. We've got tyres, and you, you sit on the tyre and then you slide down. Three natural waterfall slides. One's five metres, one's 10 metres, and one's 20 metres. And the 20 metre one is apparently really fast. And Dan's worried that he's going to land in some water and drown. He's not the best swimmer. It could swimmer. happen. It could happen. He isn't the best swimmer. He's like, have you got any life jackets? They're like, no. no it's a life jacket. <laughs> really kindly, they're getting us a, a coconut. So that'd be nice. Nice little coconut. Oh, hello. There's another friend. Oh, all right then. Scare I scare dogs off. As soon as you off, turn every... around, that yeah, face. They see my face and they go, oh, God. Check that out. Oh, look at this. Hello. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yes. Enjoying that? Is it nice? Mm -hmm. It's a coconut. Let's give it a try. You never know with coconuts, it's a bit of a hit and miss. Coconuts are the same, what are you talking about? That's nice, that. Mmm. Mmm, yeah. Okay, we're mm -hmm. heading down now to do the first slide. Water looks pretty fast. Woo! Nearly went. So yeah, I don't know how fast it's going to be, but I'm very excited about this. Like when they move, the water's gonna send me. What here? Yeah, okay, okay. They're gonna send me flying apparently. Oh god. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Ah! Oh sugar, I just hurt a butterfly. Okay, okay. Not yet, not yet. Wait for me, wait for me. Ah! Right, ready? They're moving now. You didn't come down on a tyre? No. You came down without a tyre? Yeah. 
Ah! Okay, I can do this. Alright. Oh. Oh. It was so fast, but that was brilliant. Guys, it has gone to get us coffee and tea. We really recommend this private tour, which by the way, we didn't even realise it was private. I'll put in the description below the tour that we've gone with, because I can't remember the name. We didn't have very good sleeps. 4 a.m. wake up, thanks to cockroach. This is what woke us up this morning. Okay. These guys are everywhere. Woke us, up. woke us up at 4 a.m. Did oh, you know that? Every morning. Not that one specifically, but his cousin or something. There's no need to be awake at 4 a.m. by the way. Dan was fuming this morning, he was so in such a mood. Me? Dan had the air conditioning on at minus zero degrees. It was 20 degrees. It was cold. I, and then I went back to sleep, I woke up an hour later to these cockerels kicking off. I was losing my rag. It's like the only people here that's a tourist. Yeah, but this area in general is not many tourists. It's very quiet. Apparently it gets busy July and August and it's currently May. No, is it May? I've lost track of I think it's. Is. I think it's the end of May. We've got mini bananas. Yeah. Coffees and tea over there. What's mm -hmm. this? This is a Balinese cake. A Balinese cake? Yeah. And, it's, and it's wrapped in, can I eat the leaf? No, no, no just... No. Oh, you it peel it out? Oh! Oh my gosh. Well, I don't know, do I? Look, Balinese. No, 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 Balinese cake. Balinese cake. No, no, no. Dan, stop showing my moles. That's quite nice, that. It's actually really nice. Go try it. <laughs> I'll have my banana first. Ah. Oh, nice this. Right. Trust me to go straight for the cake. Honestly, this is as big as they grow. So we have the bigger one. I nearly ate a seed there. I'll tell you what, wow. worth coming here just for that. Dan's going to try the Balinese cake. That's yeah, nice. So good. Yeah, I can eat a few of these. I ate two of them. Now we're heading to a rice terrace. And after the rice terrace, we're going to go to jump off some waterfalls. Chilies. Okay, that dog does not like not us. Happy, is he? he is not happy with us. He's like, what are you doing on my land? But this is a passion fruit. This is what a passion fruit probably should look like. This is the passion fruit inside. Sweet sour. But it's really juicy though. Is it nice? Yeah, it's nice. Let's give it a go. A passion fruit straight from the tree itself. Well, bush. Bush. <laughs> yeah. From the bush. Bush slash tree. It's so cool. Mmm. Oh! Wow. Tangy. Tangy. Why do dogs not like me? What have I... Because I'm a cat I, person. Because I'm a cat person. Yeah, that must be it. He's getting us a guava. They're picking us a guava from the tree. This is like proper experience, isn't it? Bali experience. This is like the real Bali. It's not really a tourist area at all, this. As you can see. Doesn't get much fresh than this guy. Oh my God. You Pretty sure that's where we've got to jump from. So Dan said he's not gonna jump. And to be honest, I don't blame him, he looks pretty scary. Um I'm not gonna lie. It, it's pretty high up. great fun did a little jump because I was scared of the big jump and then I, I eventually did the big jump once I'd done the little one eased myself in and I did the big jump three times but not the biggest jump I'll show you over the edge of the biggest jump it's not much bigger well it doesn't look it but when you get up there look at this so I jumped from there that doesn't look very high from where I am now, but I believe me it is. On to the next stop, which is the final stop before lunch, and that is the tallest waterfall in Bali, which I've forgotten the name of, but I'll tell you when I find out. This is pretty wild. Don't look down. Very steep steps. Dragon fruit. Is that dragon fruit? Oh. Dragon fruit. Snake skin fruit. Snake skin fruit. Oh, yeah. snake, uh, snakes, snake out. skin. Yeah. It looks like a, a bum. Eat this, yeah? 
It looks like a snake skin, doesn't yeah. it? I can see why they called it snake skin. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? I thought it'd be soft, but it's quite hard. It'd be like a really hard plum. But you know when you get a plum and it's not ready to eat, it's really hard. And obviously it doesn't taste like that. Oh wow, I close my eyes. It is a bit plum-like. It's a snake skin plant. That's where it grows from. So he was saying that you could literally throw that on the ground and it will take any pretty much anywhere. waterfall was amazing there's a rainbow around like in the waterfall what on earth did i just witness best things i've ever seen in my entire life i'm not even exaggerating like the video doesn't even do that justice of how amazing that was on our way to another waterfall called fiji waterfall jump is this is the water that comes from that part so where I jumped in if I'd have carried on swimming I'd have come off that okay we've finished the tour but we've got to go up the stairs now back to the top and it's a long way up oh dear wow <laughs> it's like a ladder this we made it and we're just in a place to have some food. The scenery is pretty cool. Look at this. I'm not sure if you can see us, it's quite dark at the moment, but we're basically, we're at this dance school called Jimi Hendrix Dance School. Um, and basically there's loads of kids and they're going to do a performance. And excursion to swim with wild dolphins now these dolphins only come out at sunrise so we're getting up very early hello there's Dan <laughs> what happens is the dolphins are obviously swimming around at sunrise it gets about nine or ten o'clock and they all like I don't know where they go but they, they go away but every every morning at sunrise they are swimming around in this area of Lavina so what happens is all of the boats honestly I counted about 80 to 90 boats and that is in quiet season. Can you imagine what high season, which is about July, August time. 
sort of cruise along like really quietly waiting to see the dolphins rise up above the water. As soon as they go like this, the boats turn on their engines and go for it. We had no idea going into it that it would be like that. We thought it would be like 10 boats maximum. So you hold on to this uh, rope thing like you hold on to that and like swim along with the boat the, what I did see was I saw a big pool of dolphins quite far in the distance but I saw them we spoke to a couple last night who said that they did get really close and actually the, what the guy said that he was like his he basically looked in the eye of the dolphin he was that close so he was just really lucky because the dolphins are only there for a limited time and then they disappear and then they show up again like a few meters away it's difficult when there's about 80 boats so having to chase after them it is a little bit mean and yeah, it, it wasn't what we expected. Anyway, we're gonna go and have some breakfast now. The kind lady, it's a family run hotel, it's really nice. They've made us like the breakfast, bed and breakfast type situation in our little villa. Um, so we're gonna go and enjoy the breakfast now. Let's get Dan's opinion on the dolphin tour. So my review on it is not what I thought it'd be. There was about 90 plus boats at first, so there was way too many boats. As soon as the dolphins came up, literally the boats were straight on them, everyone, all the engines are on. In the water for about 30, 35 minutes, yeah, hanging onto a little work. bit of rope. It was really hard to hold on. And yeah, we just, we didn't see anything. I don't really yeah. know how I feel about it. 90 to 100 boats chasing after dolphins, yeah, I don't really know. Very firm. Yeah, so if I knew that, I probably wouldn't have booked on. Basically, as soon as Lydia got in the water, her, bikini. Her, bikini, oh, her yeah, bikini kept coming down. And then as soon as that happened, it's funny, we didn't see the dolphins ever again. <laughs> got in the water and I'm holding on and the boat started speeding up. And I realised my whole bikini bottoms were lit. I very nearly lost my bikini bottoms at sea. Like this close to losing my bottoms I'm sure at sea. I've got it on film anyway, I so think you've put it. No. <laughs> We've got it on film, so i um, not sure if it's YouTube appropriate because I'm pretty sure I've flashed everyone on the boat at least 10 times. Piece of advice for the girls, tie your bikini bottoms very tight. Like, that boat is fast, and when you're holding on, you, you haven't got any free hands to do anything. But yeah, that is our honest opinion. And now we're back, like I said, at the hotel. This is the breakfast that we've got. The hotel that we're staying at, it's really nice. The only thing I will say is, um, depending on what room you're in, you might hear some cockerels waking you up at four or five or six in the morning. But if you sleep with earplugs, you'll be fine. We didn't hear them this morning because we were out by six o'clock. So other than that, really, really nice. So yeah, definitely recommend. That is the end of that vlog. Don't forget to subscribe, more adventures to come. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.